right, we are now on the second row where we're going to be looking at D, E, and F. And so before we get started, the one thing I want to remind you is that we are trying to find equivalents from the first fraction that is listed to the second fraction. And doing that, we're going to first look at our denominator. So when I look at the denominator and it says 10, what I want to be thinking is how I need to cut my picture into 10 equal parts. Well, one thing that I notice about this picture compared to the pictures above is that we not only have markings going vertically, but we also have markings going horizontally. So I'm going to take this first picture and cut it into 10 equal pieces. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. You have 10 equal pieces. Nine cuts will give you 10 equal pieces. And I'm going to shade in three. My numerator is three. So basically what I'm doing is I'm shading this model to show three tenths. Now that I have three tenths, I want to think about how can I make three tenths equivalent to something hundredths. So now that I look at my picture and I know that I have 10 going vertically, can I cut it 10 across? And I will, and that should give me a hundred equal pieces. So it's picking up your pencil again. Let's shade it horizontally. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So nine cuts will give us 10 equal pieces. So when I go back and look at my model, we had three tenths shaded, but now we've taken our tenths and we've cut each tenth into 10 equal pieces. So we have 10, 20, 30 equal pieces. 30 hundredths is equivalent to three tenths. Looking over here at letter E, I see that my denominator has now changed to the number four. So what I want to do is cut my picture, letter E, into four equal pieces. So I think what I'll do is I'll first cut it in half horizontally, I mean vertically, sorry, that's a vertical cut. And I'm going to cut it in half horizontally, just like that. So now we have four equal pieces. And I'm going to go ahead and shade my model for four equal pieces. So, I mean, to show three fours. So I'm going to shade three of the four pieces. And there's two. All right. So my model shows three fourths. And as I look at what we want to find that is equivalent to that, my denominator jumps to 100. So now I have to think about cutting my picture into 100 equal pieces. Well, if I do nine vertical cuts, and I do a cut this picture into nine horizontal cuts. I 
can see that I'm able to get 100 equal pieces. So now the next thing I want to do is figure out, well, how many pieces are in each of these four pieces? So I have one, two, three, four, five. So that would be 10, 15, 20, 25. So I have 25 pieces here and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 more pieces here and 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So I have three groups of 25 and three groups of 25 would give me the numerator 75. 75 hundredths is equal to 3 fourths. All right, and moving over to letter F. I'm going to start with my denominator of my first fraction, 3 fifths. And I'm going to think about cutting my picture into five equal parts. So again, I'm going to cut every other vertical line. Two cuts, three cuts, four cuts. Four cuts will give me five equal pieces. I'm going to quickly shade three of those five equal pieces. So we have one, two, three, all right. And I want to find the equivalent in hundredths, hundredths. So the first thing I'm going to have to think about is how can I go from five to possibly, I can get this to 10 by cutting it vertically here. All right, so I've just cut each fifth in half to double it to 10. Now if I take each tenth and cut it into 10 equal pieces, I will get 100 as my denominator. So I'm going to cut this vertical, I mean horizontally across. Okay, so we have our 100 equal pieces and we want to know how many equal pieces and how, what part of 100 that is. So this would be 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. So my numerator is 60 hundredths. Just like we did before, I want you to think about what relationships do you see? What relationship is happening from the number 3 to the number 30 that is also happening between the number 10 and the number 100? If you said multiply by 10, you are correct. These are equivalent, and we can multiply by 10 to get that higher quantity. I want you to think about what relationship you notice here between the number 3 to the number 75 and the number 4 to the number 100. What is happening to the number 4 to get to 100 and to the number 3 to get to the number 75? If you're thinking that we're multiplying by 25, you are correct. So 3 fourths is equivalent to 75 hundredths. These are equal. All right, this is higher terms, this is lower terms. All right, and finally, we look at the fraction 3 fifths, and we want to think about what is that relationship that you see that's happening from the number 3 to the number 60, or from the number 5 to the number 100. Well, that relationship would be to multiply by 20. 5 times 20 is 100, and 3 times 20 is going to give you 60. 
Remember, these are equivalent fractions, and equivalent fractions show the same quantity using different names.